Hello, thanks for checking out today's video. Welcome to my channel, Jersey Shore Pondscapes Videos. My name's Chris. I've been professionally building koi ponds for over 25 years now, and I am trying to share with you as much information and some of my experiences as I can so that I can help answer some questions for you and hopefully make your pond keeping uh, endeavors a little more successful and enjoyable. So again, thanks for checking out the video. Um, subscribe to the channel check out all the videos I have here I have over a hundred of them um, everything from tips on constructing ponds to you know plumbing to filtration systems UV lights aquatic plants you name it I've got a ton of stuff here as well as just some video tours of a bunch of ponds and stuff that I've built which you might find interesting and maybe you'll find something in one of those pictures and it might inspire you a little bit you know if you're looking to build your own pond so again thank you um, today's video we are actually building on my little collection of aquatic plant uh, videos. Um, I have about 20 of them out here now, all different aquatic plants. Um, this one here we are talking about what's called the water forget-me-nots. So it's a simple little plant. It's pretty common. I'm going to keep this video kind of short and sweet, but I just want to introduce you to the plant, tell you a little bit about it, how it can be used, and you know <laughs> maybe it could fit in your pond really nicely. So water forget-me-nots are basically small kind of compact plants. They really don't spread as much as many other pond plants do. Um, they stay about a foot tall, um, you know, maybe foot, foot and a half round. They pretty stay, you know, pretty much compact. They're kind of clumping. So it's not like you're going to plant one here and the roots are going to spread and you're going to, they're going to just totally take over a whole pond. Um, they will kind of clump in masses around, um, but they are really nice uh, compact plants. So they get little, tiny little blue flowers. Some of them have a little yellow center, just a little yellow center in the middle of the blue flower. And they do great in full sun to partial shade. So um, they are pretty common, all right, but they're not very popular, at least not from what I've seen. Um, you know, when they flower, people will buy them. <laughs> when they're not in flower, people just look right over them. Um, they do flower for a pretty long period throughout the summer, so it is pretty nice. They are, like I said, not a very big plant, not a very, you know, dramatic plant but they can be really useful in certain situations. Um, if you have a water garden, you know, with a lot of rocks and stuff around it, planting these around the rocks are really cool along the shallows of the pond. They form nice little clumps with, like I said, with those little blue flowers that just kind of fill little gaps and crevices, you know, in between rocks and boulders that looks really, really nice. Um, the other thing that I've done with these plants that I, I personally like is I've planted them under or in containers with larger plants, maybe um, like a taro, a big taro that grows up. Um, a few years back, I had a client that had a large green taro with uh, yellow flowers, which grew, you know, two, three foot tall. And underneath it, I had the, the um, forget-me-nots underneath it with the little blue flowers. So it was nice to fill out the pot lower, closer to the water, and then have the tall plant, you know, rise up out of it. So that was a really cool effect. So anything like that, even maybe like in a stream bed um, on the side of a gentle flowing waterfall, you know, kind of stick it into the rocks of the waterfall and it'll kind of grow. That's really nice too. So again, just a short, simple video to show you guys what these water forget-me-nots are and you know how I like to use them. So um, as well, just like every other water plant, when you purchase these, sometimes they're in like little one gallon containers, um, as you can see here in the pictures, um, and they are, you know, quite small. I like to repot it, all right? All my water plants, I like to repot. And basically what we do is we just get a bigger container, maybe like a two, three gallon container for these, 
put gravel on the bottom, pack some nice dirt, or, you know, inside the pot, pull the uh, water forget-me-not out of its little one gallon container, stick it right in the big one, pack the soil in nice and tight all around it, and put some, um, I, I like larger gravel on the top. The small little pea gravel, if the fish get in it, they can knock it out all over the ponds. So I like to put larger gravel, like one inch size gravel, on top of the pots, just to kind of hold everything in together. And then this way it's you know nice and sturdy, it gives it room to grow, all right? And again, if you're doing something like underplanting another plant, like the cannas or a taro, something like that, um, you know, you have a nice big container <laughs> you can put a couple of these water forget-me-nots underneath and just let the tall plant grow and let these kind of creep out over the sides. Really nice. All right. So again, thanks for watching. Please hit the like button if it helped you out. Check out all my other videos on water plants. I've got, you know, every, my gosh, a, a ton of them. Water lilies, lotuses, right? Um, lithium, lizard's tail, parrot's feather, I mean, pickerel rush, cattails, whole bunch of stuff, all kinds of videos, taros, cannas, um, umbrella palm, papyrus, water hyacinths, water lettuce, uh, there's a mess of them. <laughs> um, thank you for watching, hopefully we'll see you back soon, and subscribe to the channel. Check out my website, www.pondscapesandmore.com. I have a whole bunch of products on there um, that I like to use and recommend, and a lot of other helpful information, not only on ponds, but on uh, feeding and attracting wild birds as well. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you back soon. Take care. Bye.